Welcome to this getting started video on estimating using a custom job template. In this video I'll show you how to create an estimate for renovation work using a custom job template. Custom job templates can be used to estimate work when a standard job template is not suitable. For example, a custom job template can be selected for work such as loft conversions and garage conversions, as well as for renovation jobs and small works such as external works and landscaping. When using a custom job template, unlike with a standard job template, you don't enter the overall dimensions of the building. You simply select the elements of the job you want to estimate and enter the dimensions for each element. You can select groups of items to add to the estimate, for example groups of electrics, plumbing and drainage. You can also use the Rooms tool to enter the dimensions of the individual rooms and then apply a range of renovation tasks to the rooms. Before you create your estimate, it's a good idea to update your prices using the Download Prices button in the Materials section of the Master Price Book. We'd also recommend checking and adjusting your labour rates in the Labour section of the Master Price Book. Your Master Price Book is located in the Library, which you can find on the Estimator Express Navigator on the left-hand side of the screen. From the dashboard, to create a new job using a custom job template, click Create New Job. There are four ways of creating an estimate in Estimator Express. You can estimate a typical new build, extension or garage using a standard job template. There's an extensive range of templates for different shapes and configurations of job. If suitable for the type of work you're estimating, this is the quickest way of producing an estimate. If you can't find the exact building configuration you're looking for in the quote template library, you can select one of the any shape templates. Use the any shape single story extension or the Any Shape Double Story Extension template to estimate any shape of extension. Use the Any Shape Bungalow template to estimate an unusual bungalow configuration, or the Any Shape Double Story House template to estimate a house shape not covered by the other house templates. If the type of work you're estimating cannot be estimated using the standard job templates, select the Custom Job Template option. You can use a custom job template to produce an estimate for renovation jobs, loft conversions, garage conversions, and other small works. You can also import and take off a Plans Express drawing to create your estimate. Finally, you can produce a custom estimate from scratch using estimating calculators. For renovation work, the quickest way of producing your estimate is to use the custom job template option. That's the option I'm going to click on today. The quote template library pops up. We need to select a template for our job and there are two template options, renovation, and customise build. Select the renovation template to estimate any type of renovation work. Select the customise build template to estimate loft conversions and garage conversions and any other job which isn't suitable for a standard job template. I'm going to click the renovation template. Now we're in the quote template we can begin estimating each element of the renovation work. Unlike with a standard job template, the job cost starts at zero. Such as the nature of renovation work, each job will be different, so nothing is included as standard. Start by checking the quote template options, namely whether you want the estimate to include plastering and decoration as standard. You can also set the option to decorate the fascias and soffits or not. Now check you're happy with the job specification. The renovation specification has been selected as you're using a renovation template. If required, you can change the spec and also edit the mini specs. Click the Edit Specification and Mini Specs button. Select an alternative specification, if necessary, from the drop-down box. I'm happy with the renovation specification for now. Then review each of the Mini Specs. I'm going to change the external wall brickwork, and I'm going to select an 80 pence facing brick. I'm going to select the option for an extension or renovation. This will allow more time to complete the brickwork, as it assumes the work may be more complex and the build speed will therefore be slightly slower than for a new build. Change any of the other mini-specs as relevant for your job. Ignore any mini-specs which will not affect your estimate. For example, I'm not estimating any roofing, so I can ignore the tiling, guttering and fascia and barge board options. I'm going to change the plant and labour for the excavation and ensure that a mini-digger and driver are selected. Once you're happy with the mini-spec options, click OK. Let's tick Completed to show that we've reviewed the resource specification. Now begin to work your way down the quote template, ignoring any elements you don't need 
and adding any you do. Let's imagine we've been asked to quote for building a garden wall, laying a patio, replastering a dining room and adding electrics to the dining room. Let's start by estimating the garden wall, which is a type of external wall. Find the external walls section, then click the add estimating calculators button underneath. Now select the type of wall you want to estimate. I'm going to select a multi-leaf brick wall for this garden wall. Now select the appropriate dimension or template. I'm going to select the solid double skin brick wall with piers and foundations. The dimensions wizard for the wall pops up. Start by changing the worksheet name and location if you wish. I'm going to change the name to garden wall and I'm going to change the location to garden. If you set the location as you estimate each element of the job, you can then create a quote which groups the information by location. Now review the dimensions of the wall. Enter the wall height. Note that we enter the linear dimensions in metres. I'm going to set the wall length to 8 metres and I'm going to leave the area of openings set to zero as there aren't any openings in this garden wall. I'm building one wall with these dimensions, so I can leave the number of identical walls set to 1. If you were building two, you could enter two to double up. This is a double skin wall, so the number of leaves is correctly set to 2. Click next to see the next screen. Standard dimensions have been suggested for the foundations. Review these and amend any if necessary. Click into an input box and use the tab key on your keyboard to move between the input boxes. Now we can review the dimensions of the piers. Switch on the tech tips to see a handy tip explaining what you need to put into each input box. The tech tip appears at the top right of the screen. Again, click into an input box and click the tab key to move between the input boxes, checking the dimensions and options. Once you're happy with the piers, click Next. As with the foundations, some standard dimensions are already in place for the footings. Use the standard dimensions or adjust them as necessary, then click Next. Finally, there are no plastering and decoration details, so we can skip over this page. Click Finish. You'll see a summary of the walls we've estimated has appeared on the main quote template. Tick completed to show that you've finished estimating your external walls. The completed tick box is for your reference only. You can go back into the section and make changes at any point. Now let's estimate the patio. You can navigate to a particular section of the quote using the jump to section drop down box at the top of the main quote template screen. Click on the drop down arrow and select external works. External works appears on screen. Click Add Estimating Calculators in the External Work section. Now select the type of external works you want to estimate. In this case, paving. Next select the most appropriate dimensional template. In this case, typical patio. As with the garden wall, check you're happy with the name and the location of the worksheet and change them if necessary. As before, I'm going to change the location to garden. To get you started, some default dimensions have been filled out. First review the length of the paved area. I'm going to change that to 8 metres. Switching on the tech labels, you'll see that we also need to check the depth of the sand bedding and the sub-base. Switching on the tech tips gives us a bit more information about what we need to enter. Enter the width of the paved area on the right hand side. And if there are any other random shaped areas of paving to estimate, Enter the total area here. Finally, check you're happy with the percentage of cement added to the sand bedding. Then click Next. On the final page of the Dimensions Wizard, you can estimate the labour and plant required to lay the patio. Check you're happy with the number of hours to prepare the sub-base. You can specify a ground worker, mini digger or JCB to do the work. I'm going to change this to 4 hours of mini digger time and I'm going to zero out the JCB. Now check the plant allowances. One day for the plate compactor sounds fine. 
We've got two days for a disc cutter, wheelbarrow and shovel and that sounds about right too. We're also allowing two disc blades for the disc cutter and four deliveries and collections. Once you're happy with the plant which has been allowed, click finish. On the quote template you can see the main dimensions for the patio. To edit any of the dimensions and estimating options you've just seen, click edit dimensions. Tick completed to show that you've finished estimating the external works. I'm now going to use the Rooms section to add some room dimensions, ready to apply some renovation tasks to the room. Let's find the Rooms section using the Jump to Section drop down box. Click on the drop down box and locate the Rooms section. The Rooms section will appear at the top of the Quote Template window. The Rooms section allows you to estimate parts of the job where room dimensions are required. For example, decoration, renovation, flooring and wall tiling can be estimated in the rooms section. You can also use rooms as a way of mentally separating out the tasks you need to do for each room within a job, so that you can ensure you've allowed for all of the components required within the estimate. Start by selecting a room shape from the rooms drop down box. Choose from the rectangular, L shape and irregular configurations, with flat or vaulted ceiling. I'm going to select a rectangular room with a flat ceiling. A dialog box pops up asking you to select a room description. Select the most appropriate description. For my job, I'm going to select the dining room option. If the description you want isn't in the list, simply type it into the input box. Now the rooms editor appears over the top of the main quote template. Enter the dimensions of the room. Set the room length. Then press the tab key to move to the next input box. Set the room width and then set the wall height. Now let's tell the room editor about any existing openings in the room. Click add existing opening. I've got an internal door which is approximately 1.95 meters high and it's 0.9 meters wide. It doesn't have a reveal and it's an internal door. So that's the internal door added. I also need to add a window so I can add an additional existing opening. This window is 1.2 meters high by 0.6 meters wide and it has a 15 mil reveal. The opening type this time is a window so that's the window added. If you're inserting a new opening into the room first estimate the door, window or structural opening from the main quote template screen and then use the link estimated opening button to associate the opening with this room. Once the rooms tool knows about all the openings in the room it can accurately calculate the area of the walls, ceiling and floor in order to estimate renovation, plumbing and fitting out tasks. Let's say we want to estimate the cost of replastering and decorating this entire room. Underneath where it says Room Estimated Items, click on the drop down box. Then select the Renovation option and click Add Estimating Calculators. Now select the type of renovation you want to estimate. I'm going to select the Internal Renovation option. Now select an internal renovation template. This specifies which renovation tasks you want to carry out. I'm going to select the top option to hack all the walls, replaster, skirt and decorate. The dimensions wizard pops up. As you can see, the rooms tool is using the room dimensions we've entered to calculate all of the selected renovation tasks. Press the tab key to move between the input boxes, tweaking any of the dimensions as required. For example, you might want to alter the thickness of the existing plaster. Check you're estimating all of the tasks that you require. For example, if you need to insulate the walls, you could add that here by selecting yes from the drop down box. Click through the next few pages and here you can check the door, window, structural opening and ceiling details. Once you get to the end of the dimensions wizard, click finish. If you scroll down the rooms editor, you can see that the internal renovation has been added to the estimate. Note that the rooms tool will replaster the entire room. If you only want to plaster a section of wall, do this in the plastering section of the quote template, rather than using the rooms tool. Finally, let's add the electrics for the dining room. We can do that from within the room editor. Click on the add group of electrical items button. 
Now if you click on Living Rooms, you'll see that the Dining Room group of electrical items has automatically been selected, based on the room description. Scroll down the screen and take a look at the items which have been added to the room. So you can see that some internal lighting has been added to the estimate and some electrical sockets. You can of course delete or swap any of the items. Perhaps you only need two light switches. Click into the quantity box and change the figure. Perhaps you don't need any wall lights. Simply click the adjacent delete worksheet button and click yes to the dialog box asking if you're sure you want to delete the worksheet. Let's say the client wants a USB socket. Click the add worksheet button adjacent to electrical sockets. I'm going to select the worksheet for a double socket with a USB downstairs. Scrolling down, you'll see the USB socket now appears in your estimate and you can change the quantity if needed. Once you're happy with all of the items you've estimated within the room, click close and you'll return to the main quote template. You can add multiple rooms to your quote template and estimate different tasks for each one as required. If you scroll to the bottom of the main quote template, you'll see that you can add sundry costs using the preliminaries and sundries section of the quote template. Click add estimating calculators to add items such as scaffolding and management costs. You can also add subcontract quotations using the subcontract quotations section of the quote template. For now, let's click main estimate on the navigator and take a look at the estimate. We're now looking at the job overview screen. Estimator Express has produced the estimate by combining the specification, dimensions from the estimating calculators and estimating options you've chosen. From the job overview screen, you can see your construction costs, profit and overheads, and the sales price to the client. You can return to the main quote template at any time by clicking on it on the navigator on the left of the screen. There you can do any additional estimating. Now let's create a quote for the customer. Before you create the quote, you need to complete the client and site address details from the job settings. Click job settings on the navigator. Click view and edit contact and address information. Fill out the client's name and address details. For a renovation job, Tick this tick box to show that the site address is the same as the client address. Don't forget to review your overhead, profit and inflation rates before you produce your quote. Click Overhead, Profit and Inflation on the navigator. Once you've filled out the client details and checked your overhead, profit and inflation are set correctly, click Outputs. Then click the Open button next to Quote for Main Estimate. A preview of the quote opens in the middle of the screen. On the right hand side of the quote you can see the main settings for the quote. From here you can decide whether you want the quote resources to be grouped by build phase, estimating calculator or location. For a renovation quote you may choose the location option. In a location based quote the resources are grouped together by location, for example garden and dining room. This may be more meaningful to the client. Scroll down the quote to see how it looks. For more help on setting up the quote, take a look at the video called Opening and Editing the Customer Quote. Once you're happy with the presentation of your quote, click Print. So there you have it. That's how to price up some renovation tasks and create a professional looking quote to impress your customer.